chaos on the streets. And um, I just hope everyone is safe. And uh, I will come home as soon as possible to cover the events that will happen tonight. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stay whole day live streaming. Maybe after this press conference, uh, a few hours, maybe one hour or two hours later, I'm going to have to get ready for my presentation in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. So I am so sorry about that, guys. And um, I hope you understand. And um, yeah, you can continue to watch the live streams. And uh, I'm sure um, you guys uh, can... Um, I think you, if you join the Discord server, you can still comment on what is going on in the live streams. I'm sure a lot of people will provide translations. So... Yeah, probably there will be more chaos. The, the university also said that uh, they will inform me maybe one or two hours before the the presentation and the, the, the event in the university. They would let me know if it gets cancelled or not. Like I should be ready to get a notice that it might be cancelled anytime because they don't know what the situation on the streets will be by then. Thank you guys for your comprehension and your support. I really appreciate it. Jupy Star is saying wear a face mask when you go out. And yes, indeed, I do have to wear a face mask when I go, when I go out in the streets. I usually also uh, change clothes when I'm on the street um, because I don't want people to get my address. If someone's spotting me leaving my building, uh, they well they will know that I live in that building. So. Thanks for your concern, Jupy Star. Wow, oh my god, 1723. Thank you so much for your generous contribution. Um, I can't read your message. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. I think you're retracted, but still, thank you so much. And uh, yeah. If you need anything, let me know. And thank you all, guys, for your contributions. They mean the world, and uh, they mean that I can do this. Um, I can do this full time now, and spend most of my day covering the events. Guys, we're getting a lot of lag. Let me try to fix this. Ban Pokai Fayanti say
Guys, I wish so deeply I had a death note with me. Thank you, reporters, for joining this press conference. First, we're going to talk to you, and then we're going to get questions. Reporters, citizens, almost four months, and non-stop protests and attacks in different districts. Over 400 incidents, uh, uh, demonstration, protests, parades, over 1,800 people injured, and uh, so, so many of them are police officers. Like it's escalating quickly and every time it's more violent. Like talking about riots and destroying public property. Uh, people's daily lives have been affected deeply. Citizens are also asking, can Hong Kong become normal again? Is like Hong Kong a good place anymore? Everyone has to uh, stop violence immediately and be peaceful. And uh, support the police to enforce the law. It's one of the government's responsibilities and like objectives. One month ago, I proposed four, uh, four solutions. Uh, also a dialogue platform. Uh, we already had a public uh, platform dialogue uh, last week. Also talking about how she was having some people to assist in the independent committee of police complaints. But uh, people still come out to protest, even if she's saying, even though I, I offered the solutions. Now she's saying about the places. Uh, wait, wait, wait. She's saying that uh, about the fires. Now she's talking about the fires, the Molotov cocktails. Uh, on the streets and also on the train stations, and it's very dangerous, she's saying. 
嘅建築物，但係而家就延伸到去有一啲暴徒自己選定嘅目標商店。She's talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is talking about the riots as well. Wang Shi is 為咗佢哋自己嘅生命安全，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅配枪，喺佢哋嘅到而家嘅三成八，事實上早前被控暴動同埋襲警，喺過程中中傷、中槍受傷嘅，亦都係一名中學生。It was a high school student。呢啲暴力不斷升級，令到整體社會嘅秩序。These escalations of violence。極為危險嘅邊緣。誒。而大量學生參與暴動，更加係非常危險嘅警號。Wait a second, guys. 不单破坏而家嘅香港，亦都系正将我哋嘅青年人。Because of basically, she's saying, uh, the escalation of violence are damaging Hong Kong and uh the young people, and we have to do our best to stop the violence. 挽救香港嘅现在，挽救香港嘅未来。For the future of Hong Kong. Today, the society has already experienced a violation of public safety. As the responsible government, we cannot allow the enforcement of the law to be abandoned. As the current government, we are not able to allow the enforcement of the law to be abandoned. As the current government, we are not able to allow the enforcement of the law to be abandoned. As the current government, we are not able to allow the enforcement of the law to be abandoned. As the current government, we are not able to allow the enforcement of the law to be abandoned. As the current government, we are not able to allow the enforcement 可以應用嚟對有效處理今日嘅情況，包括加強對於一啲試圖違法者嘅阻嚇力，同埋協助。Uh, basically, they're saying that now they're trying to see what other ways they can uh use to uh diminish uh these situations, these violence. 緊急情況規例條例訂立一條名為禁止蒙面規例。So now they're talking about the 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 law against face masks, and they is going to start on the fifth of October. Why do we have to make this law? Because everyone saw that in these four months, the illegal assemblies and protesters who destroy things all. Cover their faces. We believe that through the anti-mask movement, we 世界上多個國家已經訂立咗類似嘅法例。She's talking about the, the other countries、uh, that use this kind of、uh, face mask ban in other countries.、Um, even though people in Hong Kong are against this、uh, argument, 我想同各位市民講，制定反蒙面法嘅決定唔係一個容易嘅決定。Uh, she wants to tell the citizens that this is not an easy decision to ban face masks, but in the current situation, is a must. Is something that we have to do. So, we have to use this law, which is called the Emergency Situation Law, to establish a ban on face masks. But it does not mean that Hong Kong has already entered an emergency situation. The Emergency Committee is not. 宣布咗香港進入緊急狀態，因為條例下邊賦予
，行政長官會同行政會議嘅權力係可以當我哋認為社會上出現咗危害公安嘅情況。而事實上，我諗冇乜人會懷疑或者質疑香港已經係出現咗危害公共安全嘅情況。So basically, she's saying that、uh, because we're entering in a state of emergency, she believes that no one wouldn't think that like the current situation in Hong Kong is not like very grave. 所以第一點，我想強調，雖然用嘅主體嘅法案係緊急情況規例嘅條例，訂立嘅規例係一個反蒙面法嘅規例，但係唔等於香港進入咗緊急狀態。但係香港現作況咧，係滿足呢條條例下邊嘅所謂危害公安嘅情況。喂 ，guys， these are very very difficult words。第二點我想強調嘅，就係呢個規例嘅目的係停止暴力、恢復秩序。She wants to repeat that the the reason of this law is uh 第三點我想講啊 ，preventing more violence, stopping violence 係使用暴力嘅人士。我哋明白，可能有其他人士。We understand that other people have reasonable motives to wear face masks. Regulation. Guys, I don't know if she's going to repeat everything in English. Oh, they're going to pass this to the Legislative Council uh, in, uh, in October. Legislative 誒研究，希望可以尋找香港深層次嘅問題，並作出一個適當嘅回應。I would like to say a few words in English. All right. Protests arising from the Fugitive Offenders Bill have continued for nearly four months now. Over this period, protesters' violence has been escalating and has reached a very alarming level in the past few days, causing numerous injuries. And leading Hong Kong to a chaotic and panic situation, we are particularly concerned that many students are participating in these violent protests or even riots, jeopardizing their safety and even their future. As a responsible government, we have the duty to use all available means in order to stop the escalating violence and restore calmness. In society, as the current situation has clearly given rise to a state of serious public danger, the chief executive in council decided at a special meeting this morning to invoke the power under the emergency regulations ordinance and make a new regulation in the name of prohibition on face covering regulation, which is essentially an anti-mask law. Something. Which has already been introduced in a number of jurisdictions around the world and discussed here in Hong Kong, we believe that the new law will create a deterrent effect against masked violent protesters and rioters, and will assist the police in its law enforcement. The Secretary for Security will later explain in greater details the provisions, and the Secretary for Justice will speak on the legal matters. I would like to emphasize that the decision to invoke the emergency regulations ordinance is a difficult, but also a necessary one for public interest. Let me make four points in conclusion. One, although the ordinance carries the title "emergency," Hong Kong is not in a state of emergency. 
and we are not proclaiming that Hong Kong is entering a state of emergency. All right, that's something I got wrong. But we are indeed in an occasion of serious danger, which is a stated condition in the emergency regulations ordinance for the chief executive in council to exercise certain powers. And I would say that we are now in rather extensive and serious public danger. It is essential for us to stop violence and restore calmness in society as soon as possible. We hope that the new legislation can help us to achieve this objective. The second point I want to make is the objective of this regulation is to end violence and restore order. And I believe this is now the broad consensus of Hong Kong people. The third point is this regulation targets rioters or those resort to violence. That's why the regulation contains defense and exemptions to cater for legitimate needs to wear a mask. And believe, we believe that by so doing, we have struck the necessary balance. Fourth, the regulation is a piece of subsidiary legislation subject to negative vetting. So when Legislative Council resumes on the 16th of October, the regulation will be tabled in the Legislative Council for members' discussion. Finally, let me reiterate that I and my principal officials will continue our dialogue with the public, for it is the best way to find solutions to some of the deep-seated social problems in Hong Kong and to allow Hong Kong to move forward. 我現在請保安局局長就住各項規例的建議作進一步的說明。多謝行政長官。在過去接近四個月的暴力事件裡面,我們看到幾乎所有參與暴力或者非法行為的人。In the full last four months, we see that all the people who participate in the violent and, and the riots, they all wear face masks or use objects to cover their faces. To avoid the police and avoid the law enforcement. To when they set fires, throw uh, molotovs. And uh, damage, like, and attack the police. Uh, this, and uh, damage the national emblem and the national flag. The objectives first. Uh, the first objective of this law is to reduce violence. Second, so that people who break the law can face law enforcement. So, so people who gather with more of five people on the street or three of more people marching without a, a and also uh, parades or assemblies that uh, didn't notify the police. Third, in illegal assemblies or, or violent uh, they can, they're talking about uh, those people who cover their faces in these situations can face one year in prison and uh, a sum of money. I, I didn't get the number, but they're talking about including uh, including glasses, including glasses, I think he said. 
免除刑责，包括嘅理由有：第一，因从事专业或者受雇工作，为佢个人嘅人身安全嘅理由；第二，系宗教理由。And also talking about religious, religious uh, like religious garment, guys. Sorry. And people who refuse to remove their their the garment that covered their faces when asked by the police. Uh, can face six months in jail and a thousand and one and uh, ten thousand Hong Kong dollars fee. He's mentioning countries that have similar uh, laws against uh, covering faces. And he wants to repeat one point clearly. Oh, over 50, over 50 members in an assembly, or over 30 members in a in a march. We understand that uh, uh, people are concerned about this law. Why is so hard to understand what these people are saying? So basically they understand that people are concerned about their rights, about the basic law, but these measures are necessary basically. Nigga Guys, guys. In unauthorized assemblies, illegal assemblies, or or demonstrations that didn't, I think she said, didn't ask permission. They are not allowed to cover their faces with any object or garment. This is only for the security, the public uh, security, the public interest. Guys, I think they're just repeating again and again what Carrie Lam said at the beginning. 
透過禁止喺公眾活動使用蒙面嘅用品咧，可以阻止暴力人士喺隱藏身份嘅情況之下進行非法行為而逍遙法外。呢個咧，亦都係有助警方執法同埋進行調查。Yeah, now they're talking about that this is to help the police enforce the law. They, they basically want to sound clever, trying to use complicated words, but they're basically repeating the same again. This规例不会禁止市民在有合理辩解的前提之下 because there now that she's talking about all the uh, extreme violence that have been occurring on these last few months. Yukau 警務人員可以截停並要求有關的人士暫時移除他的蒙面用品。Now they're saying they're, she's repeating what the other guy said that the police can stop people and ask them to remove their masks. And after the checking by the police, they can continue to wear their masks or their scarves or whatever. And the guy, the other guy said, if you refuse to remove your mask when the police ask you to do so, you can face six months in jail and a ten thousand Hong Kong dollar fee. Now questions from the press. Now, guys, I will need as much as help as I can in the. Live chat to translate this because. 香港零一記者，你好，阿林太，想問就係其實誒建制派啦，湯家華即係你嘅智囊啦，都講過其實。A lot of people said that. 冇辦法去解決到當前。誒 ，this law against mask is not a solution for what is happening. 執法去禁蒙面。What now you're using the emergency regulation to do this? Is is it because you just want to empower these emergency regulations ordinance and you're using this as excuse? 最後一招咧，之後會唔會話會引用一個誒冇誒引用呢個緊急法去禁 Telegram 禁禁連登，甚至去去做外匯管制咧？另外就啱啱鄭若華司長講到就係話可以配合或者係有助警方執法調查。咁講翻就係七月二十一號喺元朗站嘅襲擊事件入邊。Uh, but in the 21st, in the 21st of July, in the 21st of July, the hundreds of people who were attacking people in Yunlong, most of them were not wearing uh, masks. But until now, only around 30 have been arrested. First of all, in a, the violence and the attacks in these four months has continually increased. So as the responsible government, we are... The other thing we saw is that... Uh, we just a reaction because we don't want Hong Kong is violence. We don't want Hong Kong to be a mess. So we have to think some kind of law, something reasonable. 
咁所以，正如我最尾講咧，去誒引用緊急嘅情況規例條例，制定一個禁止嘅決定咧，唔係一個容易嘅決定。So we use this emergency law to ban face masks was not an easy decision. 而且有個名叫緊急情況咧，帶有啲誤會。The name emergency regulation ordinance. 今日去引用呢條條例，訂立禁止蒙面規例。It's not equal that Hong Kong entered a emergency state. So you ask what kind of solution to adapt? I'm going to deal with it. I don't really want to keep the violence going. I don't want to see more violence in the country. I don't want to see the violence in the country. I don't want to see the violence in the country. I don't want to see the violence in the country. I don't want to see the violence in the country. Uh, we, everyone hopes that uh, people are not affected their daily lives. We, uh, uh, we hope the police are not attacked. So she said, basically, if the if the violence does not increase, we don't have the necessity of add more regulations. But if it, it in, but it increases, uh, in order to protect the the safety, we have to keep doing more things. 啊！我諗大家唔係喺度爭論。